Hi and welcome back to the FTV Hack Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a web browser to your application, then how to add the HTML Agility Pack as a resource and use it to output the page code and display in the browser. Uh, this is different than a normal HTML web request, uh, as you allow the code to finish running, then you build it into a string and fill the web browser with it. This allows for parsing, scraping, altering the HTML, and allows it to be viewed in the browser. Uh, Take notice, if you would, I cleaned up the form a little bit, moved stuff to the side to give me room to work, but the exhaustive amount of code that I did last time, the last video, is all still there, so don't worry, hasn't changed a bit. Uh, let's begin. I'm going to drop in a web browser and a button to make it work. Now double click on the button and bring up the on click event and we can begin coding right after we load in the HTML agility pack. So if you haven't downloaded that there should be a link below. It's going to add references. You can browse to your file. I've actually got one here in my recent. Go ahead and just add it. It'll be added to your references. HTML agility pack. Now let's get to code. We're going to want to start with a string builder. We'll call it output because this is going to be what we actually put into the web browser. I'm going to do new string builder. We're going to use a string and we're going to call it raw, you know, because I'm going to put in our web address, add our link, and then we can start building our request. Now with the HTML agility pack, it's very simple. You get your document, you parse it out. Begin with a HTML web request, but we call it HTML web. Let's call it web get and we're going to do new HTML web. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a user agent here. I'm not going to use a proxy because you can set it up through Internet Explorer and the proxy will be going through in more advanced sections. But a uh, user agent's always nice because it gives the idea that it's not just a bot running through the web pages. And also, if you do want to be a bot, you can always name it yourself. For instance, we just do web get dot user agent bam this will actually send the user agent through our web request to the website as the FTV hack tutorial bot now this will not allow you to access a lot of websites they uh, turn off user agents that aren't normal what I normally use is a older version of Firefox it works out fine next we're actually going to make the request by creating a document and we're going to do a load with the web get. We're going to load up the raw link. And that's it. You have now downloaded the web page. You put it onto the document and you're ready to start parsing out the information. Now to parse out the information, this is where the HTML agility pack really begins to shine. Uh, we're going to start out with a HTML node collection. You can also call it var. Now we're going to do a document search for the document node select single node because we're just going to pull up the body for now to put it into the web page now what you want to do is run an XML path through here and the best way to find that is using firebug for instance right now I know if I want to take body all I really need is slash slash body now when the HTML agility pack returns objects, it returns it as a DOM file, which is a document object model. Now if it doesn't return anything from your XML path, what it returns is null. So what we're going to want to do is an if statement. If browser doesn't equal null, then we'll do something. Else, we won't do something. In this case, all we want to do is return the browser document, the whole body of the HTML, and put it into the web browser. So we're just going to add the string from the output in an append line format. We're going to use the browser dot enter HTML. This will pull out all of the HTML from the body on down, which is everything on the web page and it will insert it into the string output. Now we're also going to want to fill out our else statement, so we're going to do output 
dot pin line. We're going to just add some text to let us know it didn't work. Then we go outside of our if statement, actually put the output into the web browser. So we just do web browser dot document text equals output dot do string and there we go it'll fill out the browser as soon as we click the button also we're going to want to add an extra statement here web browser one dot script errors suppressed equals true I'm loading up this web page inside the web browser there's javascript that is going to throw up script errors by setting the script errors suppressed equals true it's going to go ahead and run the web page give you the html and ignore all the script errors otherwise you're going to get pop-ups and not get a complete web page now make sure you save your design you go up to debug this is youtube so obviously i can't debug from this state on uh, feel free to give it a shot join me next time to learn how to stop web browser navigation and transfer it elsewhere including external browsers and the inboard Windows Media Player on your application.